this was the most requested item I think in all of my WTF first impression videos. If I go through all the comments, I actually have a list of requests from you guys and this one tallied up the most interest. So I'm hoping that you guys enjoy another expensive foundation, first impressions. This one is actually technically more like a tinted moisturizer. It's supposed to have all of the benefits of a CC and BB cream. This is the Giorgio Armami, Arma oh my God, did I just call it Armami? What? Giorgio Armami, huh? This is the Giorgio Armani Crema Nuda. I have the shade Medium. This is the Supreme Glow Reviving Tinted Cream. When your sales tax on a product is more than an item at the drugstore. My sales tax was $18. Why? Okay, so I literally paid $218 for this because, you know, we're all curious about these high ticket items. This is fun for me too. Um, I don't know how practical this is. In fact, when I was looking for reviews online because I was trying to find the science behind this item, why is it so expensive? What does it do? What are the big, huge claims? I couldn't find that much information, but every review that I read was like five stars. This is the best. It's so awesome. It will change your skin. It's great. Even though I do have to say, I was kind of laughing to myself, there aren't that many reviews. Like all the reviews that there are are great, but there aren't that many because no one can afford this product. Oh, great. I kind of have a thing for saving boxes. It's really strange in case I like might need to photograph it or something. And I just, just, just in a mess. I do have to say, it is not often that you get 1.7 ounces of a foundation product. Usually you get an ounce, so you're getting a decent amount of product. Not that that justifies the price, but holy crap, why is this so dark? Did I get the right shade? The two lighter shades that they had were so, so light, and this one actually, when I blended it on my hand, it seemed to blend in. Now that I'm in front of my lights at home, this looks really dark. Crap. Okay, um, anyway, we're still doing this. I just ripped the box, I just opened it up. We are doing this. I want to try and preserve the expensive skincare ingredients in here as much as I possibly can. So I am just going to take a Q-tip and dollop some of the product on a glass palette in front of me. This is my Scott Barnes glass palette. Love this, by the way, like mini, mini review within a review. So much more than the Beauty Blender plastic because this stays clean forever, oh my goodness. And I always use palettes to blend and mix and do all of that good stuff really handy to have. So I have the product on my palette. Now in the video on the Giorgio Armani site itself, you see the girl sticking her finger in the thing, which I'm like, bacteria, don't do that. And then she just kind of puts it on her face, like, you know, like so. I'm gonna use a brush just because I feel like I get a more even application and I don't get products over my brows and everywhere I don't want to, you know, by rubbing it in like a moisturizer. So I am using my Makeup Geek Foundation Stippling Brush and I'm just gonna apply this like I would a foundation. And I'm gonna look like I just came back from Tahiti, but it's okay. We will still, well, it's not that bad actually. It smells like money. <laughs> it smells expensive, it really does, but not in like an obnoxious rose kind of a scent. You know how sometimes expensive things, like they all just have that like hardcore, crazy, crazy rose scent to them? Oh my gosh, I can't handle it. I cannot handle that fragrance. It's not oily at all. It almost has a dimethicone kind of silky feeling to it but still creamy. It's hard to explain. It feels really nice. My immediate thought is I like this more than the Sicily foundation that I tried, which was also super expensive, but not as much as the La Prairie, which I know the La Prairie is more of an intense coverage. 
um, and I think that might be just preference why I like it more. I feel like this is blotching a little bit. They have six shades, so I, I feel like that is a little bit limiting, but so far it feels really nice. It feels nice and hydrating, and I am gonna go ahead and conceal, and I'm actually gonna stay here with the camera on just to show you guys. I talked about these yesterday. These concealers from Make It Forever, they're so good. A lot comes out, that's the only kind of issue that I have with it, but you can pick up some with your fingertip and then kind of go over here a little bit. But this stuff is so good, oh my God. I mean, it literally will cancel out and erase your dark circle situation completely. And that is the HD Ultra HD Concealer from Makeup Forever that is brand spanking new. I'm gonna finish up my makeup and then I will be right back. And we are back. The rest of my face is on and I'm sure the first thing that you guys notice because we're the same, we, we understand makeup and I'm sure that you guys are like zeroing in on the eyeshadow action, right? We're like, who cares about the foundation? Look at the eyeshadow. Hello, new friend. Natasha Denona shadow that is way expensive and I was going to totally do a WTF but I want to swatch use play try a lot of the colors and do a hot or not that's really really in depth with these but I have to say the first time using them this green right here is just really really shiny and flattering and beautiful kind of having a moment I have some initial update ish thoughts to share with you guys. I feel like this looks so much better once it is set with a powder on its own. It just felt like it had a tendency to want to almost separate and that was kind of freaking me out. I was looking in the mirror because I walked away from my vanity and I was kind of dawdling around and not going straight into my makeup and I sat back down and I was like, oh, like it's kind of it's a little patchy. So I reblended and then I set it with the powder and it looks great. I mean, I think this looks fine. But I have to say immediately, $200, $60, which is still a lot of money, but the Dior Air Flash blends so much better. It looks just as natural and feels really lightweight and just looks better. So my immediate thought is I kind of like it and I don't want to kind of like a $200 uh, tinted moisturizer even though it is infused with all those skincare ingredients I kind of feel like for me I would rather have a really beautiful skincare item and then go in with my foundation now if you want to you know cut your time in half and you're really into your high-end skincare products then this might be a dream item for you because it doesn't look bad I just don't think that it looks any better than this guy right here. So I'm gonna go about my day. I do have to run a few errands and it is like a downpour outside. So we will see if the foundation holds up in a little bit of raindrop-ish weather. And I will check in with you guys in different lighting, do close-ups, all of that good stuff. And we will see how this $200 tinted moisturizer works out. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So, hey guys, it is now 3.47 p.m. and my makeup is doing, I mean, it's doing okay. It's doing okay. I feel, I feel a little greasier than I would like to. So even though the initial application felt really kind of dimethicone blur type creamy it has gotten a little bit oily so this definitely is not for oily skin and my skin is pretty dry right now and it still is feeling like it's a little bit it's, it's very rich so if you have very dry dry skin i think maybe this would be ideal but um if you don't have extremely dry skin i think it eventually starts looking kind of oily it has started kind of feeling like it's breaking up and getting a little greasy and that's just where i'm at right now um i will do more check-ins later i'm having a really crappy day i apologize if my mood is like a little bit weird but i just got some really just eh, news and i feel kind of moody about it we all have those days it's life it happens it's a roller coaster and i am trying to be glass half full and kind of just you know move on um but yeah so so it's raining i'm having a bad day ah! um but i am going to the post office to mail my brother-in-law his seahawks gloves back i don't know how these ended up in my bag um and pick up some packages so yeah let's continue running the errands 
All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> you will finish this. I'm having a bad day. I'm so sorry, baby doll. She doesn't like the makeup. Okay, bye. Bye. I think you look beautiful. Bye, James. I will miss you guys this video. Hopefully she will change her mind and let me come back in at the end. Go watch football. Football's not on until Go Sunday. Do something. <laughs> I feel disgusting right now. This foundation is so greasy and dry at the same time. Products are all so personal, so you might enjoy this. I just think there is so much else out there that is not $200. If you want to spend money on something, spend your cash on this. I have seen so much firming in the past couple of weeks using this. You can see I've already put a decent dent in this guy because I've been using it so much. This is the Guerlain Pure Gold Makeup Base. I did a WTF first impressions on this one and this turned out to be great. I will link that video below. My point is use a more affordable foundation, get something really supercharged in your skincare routine to put underneath the foundation and you're going to get an even better result in my opinion because like these two, perfection. This on my face? No. No, no. It's like I'm so dry. I'm so crepey but like greasy and it just feels gross. Very sorry that I am kind of a total buzzkill Debbie Downer in this video. I just got some awful, awful news this morning that threw me completely like it came out of left field and I was just like, um, what? Then I found out that my grandma was going into emergency gallbladder surgery and then to top it off I was like let me distract myself and I'm just gonna open up snapchat and some random chick tells me that I should go and slit my wrists and that she hates me and die bitch die. That's not okay like that kind you guys can tell me that you think I'm ugly or you don't like my voice or you don't like the style of my videos or whatever but Let's all have enough respect to not tell anyone ever to go kill themselves or that you hope someone dies. And then to top it off, I'm looking in the mirror and I was like, eh, and I hate this foundation and I spent $200 on it. So let's just wrap this up. This product is a fail. I don't like it. I am going to wash my face and relax a bit. I do believe that you can will yourself out of, you know, your funkier moods and tomorrow's a new one. So ah <sighs> deep breaths and if you're having a bad day i understand um and i'm sending you love so i hope that you guys still enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time Mwah.